We are in the Gospel of Luke, and today we're at Luke 23, verse 32 to 34. Let's see what we have here. There were also two others, criminals, led with him to be put to death. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots. So now Jesus is taken. They arrive at the place of execution. There are the two thieves that are going to be crucified with him. And they drive the nails through their hands. It's not really outlined for us here, but that's what they do. They drive the nails in. And as they're doing this, apparently, this is the time when Jesus says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Now, they knew a little bit about what they were doing. They knew somewhat about what they were doing, but they didn't realize, perhaps, that they were killing the Prince of Life. They didn't realize that truly it was Messiah. We are killing the Messiah. We are going to crucify the Messiah. So Jesus asks for them to be forgiven, and there's going to be more for them to learn about Jesus as he hangs on the cross the next few hours. So there's going to be some rethinking that goes on, but right now, Jesus prays for his torturers, and that is fascinating and important. It reminds us all how much, how little we've known about God, and he turned around. He's so glad. Even in his prayer was for us. When we sinned against him and we didn't realize what we were doing, he wanted us to be forgiven. Let's pray. Father in heaven, as we look at the cross, here's Jesus now going up on the cross. And his prayer is not for vengeance. His prayer is not for mayhem and violence. His prayer is that they, these tortures will be forgiven. So please, Lord, help us. Help us to have forgiving hearts like he who forgives us, even as he is nailed to the cross unjustly. Now, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May Jesus' blessings be with you today.